Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm Four One Nine Seven Five, and it seems like ages since I have done one of these kind of videos. But I've had a lot of comments recently on some of my older videos um, of you guys suggesting vehicles that I have missed or ones that I didn't know about. So I thought today it would be kind of interesting to have a look at some of the vehicles you guys suggested and put them all together in one video for you. So I will be reading out the names of the people who suggested them. So in the future, if you have a suggestion and you want me to uh, put it in one of these videos, then make sure you drop it down there in the comments below. So let's start off at number one. So the first two vehicles I have today were suggested by J23 Christian. And the first here we have is the Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud 2 from A View to Kill. And for this one I have used the Inus Stafford based on a Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud. And I've tried to match the location as best as I could. I've painted this silver and then just gone for the Muscle Hot Rod wheels in Chrome. The second vehicle also suggested by J23 Christian is the Smokey and the Bandit Transam uh, Pontiac Firebird. You can see it there, I have used the Ruiner. Now you can't get this one that close, but it was suggested and it is kind of similar. Um, you can get the gold wheels to kind of match, so I've thrown it on this list. The next vehicle we have here is the Wayne's World AMC Pacer. This one was suggested by Literal Hacker, so thank you to him. And for this one, I have used the Rhapsody, and you can see that I've painted it the light blue and I've applied the flames on the front wheel arch there. And then I've just gone ahead and picked out some chrome muscle wheels once again. So the next one we have is suggested by Dragon's Quill and this is the Coyote X from the Hardcastle and McCormick TV show. I'm actually surprised that you knew about this one because it is one of my favourite TV shows in real life and for this one I've used the Ocelot Swinger. Now it's not really the same vehicle um, but it was suggested by Dragon's Quill and it is kind of similar so I decided to throw it on this list. The next one we have is the Neon Civic from um, Fast and Furious 1 and this is the black Honda Civic with the uh, green neons under it. I'm sure you all know this vehicle. This one was suggested by Neocry91 and for this one I have used the Karen Sultan. Now it isn't technically a Civic the Karen Sultan but it is kind of the closest looking vehicle. You can see I've gone ahead and painted it black there, just gone for some chrome sport wheels, and I don't think it's quite coming across, but I have gone ahead and put on the mint green neons underneath it as well. The next one we have is from Stormbreak, and this is the RWB Hoonigan Porsche, and this is a really nice vehicle. I really like this one. And I wasn't actually aware we could get this in GTA, but of course it is the Comet Retro Custom, the Benny's version. And you can actually get this one pretty similar. You can see there I've gone for the all white paint job and the red wheels. These are in the tuner category. Uh, you can't quite get the exact spoiler, but this was the closest one I could find. And then I've just gone for a half cage in the back. And unfortunately, we can't actually get the little bit of writing behind the front wheel arch there. But it's pretty close. And if you went to like a Hoonigan car meet, I'm sure most people will recognize this car. The next one is quite an obvious one. And this is also quite a new addition to the game. This was added in the Cayo Perico heist. And of course, it is Herbie the Beetle. This one was suggested by Harry Tran. So thank you to him. And... For this one, I have used the BF Weevil, and you can see there, it also does wheelies in the game, which was a really nice addition by Rockstar. Obviously, just painted it white. I've gone for this BF livery there, and then I've just picked out some tuna wheels and painted them white to match. And the final vehicle we're going to be having a look today is the Apocalypse Brutus. 
and this comes from the Tango and Cash film. Now, I apologize to whoever suggested this. I couldn't find your name. So if you were the person that suggested this, please leave a comment down below and I will credit you in the pinned comment. Um, this is a pretty cool one and it is pretty close actually. You can get this one almost identical. You can see there that it is clearly based off the Tango and Cash truck. All I've done with this is remove the uh, rusty livery that it comes with and then remove the sort of ram bar on the front painted it black and then i've gone for these sort of muscle off-road wheels in chrome and yeah that's about all you have to do with it there we go guys that is going to do it for my list today there is eight more movie cars you can add to your collection if you didn't already if you have a suggestion as i mentioned at the start leave it in the comment down below or send it to me on social media and I will add it to the next list. Hopefully all of you who suggested this are watching. I want to say a huge thank you for your suggestions. And hopefully in the next video we'll have a couple more. So that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.